Hello, everybody. It is Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today playing more Civilization V Sejong Edition. And last episode, we built Busan, and we're still fighting against this barbarian scourge. And the only way I can really think of to get rid of this barbarian scourge once and for all is to finally just settle this area because I keep clearing them out and they keep coming back. So I think this episode, I'm going to build my third city. We're going to build it right over here next to this uh, mountain and the ocean and this wine will get that uh, luxury resource there it'll be very very good and over here where this worker is i think i'm gonna build a mine get a little bit extra production and i'm gonna heal up my swordsman and i'm going to attack this composite bowman moving along what are we gonna build in seoul um i've been building wonders on wonders on wonders and it has been doing wonders for our civilization i could build a workshop but i uh, i mean what's the point you know actually how much is it to purchase a workshop 420 um i could purchase one in a while but i mean uh, there's all these wonders that i'm just so tempted to build like this guy right here which gives us plus 25 generation of great people in all cities and gives me a great great person of my choice all right leaning tower we're gonna try to build you see if we can get away with it now let's go ahead and choose a technology. I can't help it, guys. I can't help collecting these wonders. They're so wonderful. Okay, I need to settle down. Cool it, Rick. Focus. Cool minds prevail. We're going to go for scientific theory this episode right here. You can see that we're, we've got to research five techs in order to get that. So we're just going to cruise along our merry way and try to research all those technologies. Uh, ooh, little worker over here needs some uh, orders to you. Can I send you over there to build a farm? And you... Oh, I can upgrade you to a crossbowman now. That'd be cool. But let's clear out that guy first. And then I'll upgrade you next uh, turn. How's that sound, buster? People with the pointiest sticks. It ain't me. But I'm not last. Wow. Crazy enough, Genghis Khan in last. This warmongerer who is my friend uh, is not doing well. And that just kind of points to the fact that he's probably going to lose his capital soon. Poor guy. Uh, it was a good friendship while it lasted, but uh, y you're probably not going to last too much longer, I would imagine. Sorry, buddy. It's a tough role being a warmonger, you know? People just don't take kindly to it, and, they, you know, they just uh, try to eradicate you, you know? I'm not going to say that if we weren't neighbors, I would try to do the same thing, because I probably would. Got a lot of forest around here. I need to clean up this forest. Start building some lumber mills. Get some food slash production up in my capital. Here we go. And swordsman, you can start moving towards this barbarian encampment. Clear it out so I can settle a city there, would you? That'd be great. Lawrence seeks a great merchant, huh? Well, I probably can't help you out with that. I mean, last uh, game I played, man, I would be able to help with that. Who boy. The way that I was creating great merchants with Ashurbanipal was crazy. That guy couldn't stop making great merchants. Kind of ridiculous. Okay, we're at uh, 10 turns now to build the uh, Leaning Tower. Maybe we'll get away with building this thing after all. After all, we are getting away with building a lot of wonders. Ooh, sweet. Just march right in. And ooh, we can select Rationalism now. Fan frickin' tastic Go for that science bonus, baby. Busan, what you gonna build now? Um, what can we build? A university. That's what we need. We need that university up in Busan. And now longer construct anger watch for Prague. Oh, because it's been done. I didn't even know you wanted that, Prague. You should have made your uh, demands more well known. Because I had no idea. I had no idea that you wanted that. Dovshanic had I only summoning. known, I probably wouldn't have given it to you anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that affect I just took on was. When I talk to Prague, I talk in like a southern accent. Kind of a smooth southern accent. Uh, what do you want? Open borders? You want to give me a lot of stuff for that open borders, too. I'm tempted to take it just because you want to give me iron and gold, which I think is funny, but I'm not going to do it. Most of the time, they're just like, hey, I will give you open borders if you give me open borders. And that time, he was like, hey, I will actually give you gold and iron. Two things you don't need, but I'll do it anyway. I'm flattered by the offer. All right, let's send you guys just scouting around here. Make sure it's safe for... Uh... Ooh, you want a research agreement? Yeah, for sure, I'll do that. But I ain't going to give you uh, open borders for it. How would I give you 50 gold? Does that work? Okay, it's usually 100. Usually 100 steals the deal. What, really? 
Wow. Oh, because I don't have 100. Wait, do I not have 100 gold? Oh, because I have to pay 167 just to get it. Hmm. You know, I'll give you open borders. Fine. Agree. Wait, there's no way to make this work. You came to me with the proposal, Agree. you idiot. Okay, I'll give you open borders, and then I'll give you, like, 10 gold. How about that? No? <laughs> One gold per turn? I don't even remember what the original uh, deal was, but he came to me and was like, do you want open borders? I was like, no. And then when I tried to uh, ask him what he wanted, he was like, nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing can make this deal work. Then why did you come to me? in a trade agreement with England? My open borders. There's nothing. Oh, oh, maybe they want to open borders so they can come over here and settle. Compounding. Which is very possible. And there ain't no fucking way I'm going to let you over here to settle. I'm going to tell you right now. This is my land. Right? I'm going to settle all of this land over here to the east. It is fertile land. Fertile desert land. And I want it. I want it. I take it. Um... We've done enough exploring. Seems to be barbarian free at the moment. We've got four turns left until we get the leaning tower. Hopefully nobody else snakes it from under us. That would just ruin my night, I'll tell you what. Alright, we can, uh, wait. Did somebody snake it from under us? Oh, that's Busan. Oh, thank god. I thought that was Seoul. I was like, oh my god. Um, oh, we can build Oxford University in five turns here? That's actually a pretty good deal. Let's do it. Yeah. Five turns, wow. Busan, you are a production powerhouse. I wouldn't expect to get it so quickly from you. The little city that could is what I'm going to call you. Because you're, you're doing so damn well. You want open borders now? Come on, man. I tried to strike a deal with you. And you were like, no. Not going to do it. I don't know why I would want to research to deal with him anyway. Because he's probably going to die soon. And that is my third great scientist that I've built. Uh, that I've built. I didn't build the great scientist. That I've hatched? No, I didn't hatch it either. That I birthed. Okay, that's closer. Sure, that I birthed. Um, so I'll build another academy because that's what you do when you're uh, Sejong of Korea. And look at that! We got another wonder! Wonders never cease in Korea. That's our slogan. It's a good one. Don't steal it from me. Okay. Bam. Another academy it is. Just plowing through this game. Just building academies on academies on academies. Ooh, and I get a free great person too. Um, we can go ahead and build another academy if I want to. Sure. Let's do it. Great scientists. Coming right up. And where's this academy going to go? Hmm. Um, you know what I should do? I should save it and I'll build it on one of these... Uh, one of these desert tiles once I get my new settler in three turns. So, let's start sending you this way. And in addition to my settler, I'm going to need a... going to need a new worker as well. Hey, look at that. A writer. I'm going to purchase the worker just straight up. I bought this worker cash. Uh, wait a minute. I need to use this guy first because I can't build a worker while there's I another unit in my road. city. But falsehood of a most consistent variety, for I now make the only true statement you are to expect. That I am a liar. This defense is, I consider, a full defense against all imputations. Boom. That guy, he's uh, writing stuff and we are getting culture from it. Anyhow, uh, purchasing, that's what I was gonna do, a worker, okay? When people say smart things, I get distracted. It's not a, it's not good. I shouldn't be so easily distracted, but I am. I'll admit it. Distracted by shiny things and smart things because I'm trying to solve them. I'm like, what did you mean by that smart thing you just said? World may never know. Hey, it's a uh, Ahmed Al Mansour of Morocco. Ooh, and Pocacello, eh? The world's most wonderful people. How am I number three? I feel like I've been building all of the wonders, but apparently not because Harun al-Rashid and Augustus Caesar are kicking some ass here. I need to build some uh, more wonders just to show them up. Good news is I get to make a proposal. So what am I going to propose? 
I want the world's fair, but I don't want it yet. I want to build my other city so that I can have actually some some extra building power up in this son of a gun. So in the meantime, what am I going to propose is the question. Well, shoot, I don't know. Standing army tax? That'll really piss everybody off. Um, well, at least Rome and the Shoshone. I'm going to do it. Commit that proposal. I don't have a big army, and I don't think you should either. That's what I think about that. My opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Buster. All right, one more turn until I can build my new city. Oh, see? Augustus doesn't like that. Don't care. I do care that you want an embassy, though. No, no, you too. No, hey. Embassies for everybody. That's what I say. I welcome everybody to uh, the great kingdom of Korea. We are uh, welcoming of all people, races, religions, and creeds. As long as you don't get on our bad side. Um, okay, now I need to build a workshop. We don't have one in Seoul yet, and we could really use one. Now we get a free tech, too, because I built the uh, Oxford. And what's our free tech going to be? Ooh, industrialization, eh? That'll put us into the industrial era. Let's do it. Well, boy, howdy. We're in the industrial era now, and we got a new spy. Where's that spy going to go? I feel like we should uh, try to get in tight with a city-state like Genoa. Who we're already pretty friendly with. Let's go ahead and move a spy there. Right into Genoa. There we go. I like to put my spies in city-states. Just something I like to do. Now, Busan, I feel like we need to defend you, okay? You've been really busting your ass, and I'm really proud of you, but you're also right on England's doorstep, and I, I, I just don't trust them. They got cities all around you, and it's scaring the hell out of me. So let's go ahead and start building some walls to defend yourself. And let's not give you open borders, okay? Oh, you didn't like my proposal? A little late to the game on that one. Augustus Caesar beat you to it. Uh, roads, that's what we need. Move you there and build a road. Move you over here and make sure that it's still clear of baddies. And it seems like it is. Good looking out. Architecture. Architecture has been researched. We can build the uh, porcelain tower now, which is going to give us a bonus to our scientific deals that we make with people. The uh, research agreements, that is. Which would be pretty good. Pretty good thing to do. I mean, as long as people actually do research agreements with us, we have to make declarations of friendship in, in order to do that. So it all depends on whether or not people are going to be friendly with us, I guess. I hope they are. Um... I want to be friends with people because it benefits me that's why for no other reason not because i want people to play video games with not because i want people to show up to my birthday party but just because i want their sweet sweet science give it to me wait no no okay fine i meant to build a road but he's building a lumber mill instead which fine just go ahead and do that for now um i'm gonna move you here that's where we're gonna build wait no here that guy and ooh, we've got a we've got another stupid encampment there. Well, what do you know? Okay, um, cool. We've got the walls built now. It's a little bit more fortified. Great. Uh, ooh, we're actually losing money a little bit too. So I better create a mint. Oh, remember when I said Mongolia would probably lose their capital? It just happened. Those poor guys. They uh, they fought and lost. They rolled the hard seven or hard eight. I don't know. One of those dice things where you roll the dice and you don't get what you want. You know, it's a saying. I think it's hard eight. I think there's a movie called hard eight. Just rambling now. I'm sorry. Oh, now you think Ahmed Al Mansur is a threat to the world, do you? No. It seems like Augustus Caesar is kind of going a little power hungry here. Expanding, taking over uh, my poor, poor friend um, uh, Genghis Khan there. Yeah, he, he's dead now because of him. Thanks a lot. Genghis Khan had children, like hundreds of them. Did you not think about them before you killed him? You mean Gus. Okay, um, 
more wonders, right? That's what we want because we don't have as many wonders as Augustus Caesar and we want to, right? Isn't that what we wanted? So let's go ahead and do uh, Sistine Chapel. Let's try to get that done. See if we can erase that. We'll probably end up losing it to Augustus Caesar in all honesty, but we'll try. We'll try like hell. And we'll end up getting money for our troubles if we don't end up building it anyway. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose this swordsman. I don't want to lose this swordsman, so I'm gonna move him back and start healing him up, which will leave that encampment empty for the moment, but uh, that's fine. I'm fine with that. All right, now we need to choose some production in Busan. What are you gonna build, Busan? Uh, what can you build, first off? Let's see. You need an amphitheater because we need that culture, right? You need quite a few things, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and build that amphitheater. That's fine. And, yep, I had a feeling that pikeman was going to move right back in there. No surprise there. For some reason, the game always wants to default workers to build uh, trading posts, which is just the stupidest thing I can think of. Like, seriously, default workers... You won't be able to default workers in Civ 6, first off. Let's just talk about that, which is awesome. Um, I'm glad to hear that. But when you default... Uh, the workers, which is to say, automate them. Then, uh, they instinctively build trading posts. Makes no sense. On hills, they should build mines. On plains, they should build farms. And that's the way I feel about it. Okay, let's get uh, two science from every specialist or great scientist or earn 25% faster. Seems like we're earning great scientists pretty quick as it is. So let's go ahead and earn them even quicker. See how that works out for us. And, okay, cool. You're done building a road. So we're all connected there in uh, Jeonju. So why not, um, here we go, move you right down there. Get that wheat going on in Jeonju. Jeonju. I want to try to pronounce these things correctly, but to be honest, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I'm really terrible at pronunciation. You guys have probably caught on with that. Uh, and I apologize if it bugs you guys. Okay, now that we've got a city by the ocean, let's go ahead and uh, research astronomy. And we need this observatory anyway. And then we can build an observatory in all of our cities because they're all by mountains. And then we will get a huge boon to our science, which is great. And I say great a lot. I, I, I realize that. It's, it's a word that I, I think overuse a little bit. I need to think of another word. I need a th thesaurus for the word great. Amazing. Incredible. Our spies have uncovered that Augustus Caesar's plotting against us. Are you serious? Well, if he's plotting against us, he's going to have to come through England first, unless he recruits England to attack us, in which case I'll be pissed off. Um, but I did talk about beefing up uh, Busan, and so maybe we actually need to start seriously working on that. Uh, I'm going to upgrade the, <laughs> the bowman to a crossbowman, which uh, is a modest... Uh, increase in defense, but it's a start, I suppose. And we can start moving our other bowmen, our crossbowmen over there as well. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? So you want open borders, do you? I'm not going to give it to you. Um, you better not declare war on me, too. All right, seriously, don't think about I it. I find the great thing in this world. All right, one more turn until we get uh, astronomy, and then we get to build observatories. Oh God, I can't wait to get those sweet, sweet observatories. They're going to be very cool. So I can build public schools, opera houses, um, ooh, porcelain tower. That's still sitting there. Okay, I need, um, I need defense. Ooh, I can build Gatling guns. Let's go ahead and build one. Want to defend our place. If we build up a military now, hopefully it's going to deter anybody from attacking us. They'll be like, oh no, look at Korea's huge army. Maybe we should think twice about invading them. And then I'll be like, yes, it's all working as according to plan. Just like I had planned to build a huge army, not to use, but to scare people off. So I can actually build a Gatling gun out of my crossbowman if I had the money to, but I don't. I do not, so I'll just fortify him in the meantime. Joyfully to the There we go, and astronomy has been researched. So we need a new tech. And what's that new tech gonna be? How about chemistry? Build some cannons, long range weaponry, defend Korea. Yes, it's all coming into place now. Six turns until we've got the Sistine Chapel. Oh, you didn't finish building that wheat for some reason. Weird. 
Well, now you can finish up. People like shiny things the most. Wow, Augustus Caesar is loaded. He's got all the money in the world, apparently. Right. I think we need to check on uh, our demographics soon. Well, it's almost the end of the episode, so we'll check on it before the episode ends. And I'm just going to fortify you there in Jianju. Augustus Caesar builds yet another wonder, and we've researched gunpowder, so we could build a rifleman now if we wanted to. Okay, two turns until we get the Sistine Chapel. I'd be really surprised if Augustus built the Sistine Chapel because he just built the Globe Theater. But if he does, I'm going to be pretty sore about it. So you better not, is what I'm saying. Don't you do it, Buster. Um, let's build a library in Jeonju. And a farm right here. Let's turn all of this desert into farmland. Augustus Caesar finally declared war on Ahmed there. He is really going to war with everybody. If he takes them all out, I'm going to be very worried about him. Awesome. We ended up snagging the Sistine Chapel, which is cool. So let's go ahead and build an observatory now. And then we'll build a public school as well. And we need to assign delegates. Okay, so Augustus Caesar wants to embargo city-states, which uh, I'm not that worried about. And speaking of city-states, it just occurred to me. Now, I haven't really had to worry about gold too much, but... I haven't built a single trade route. So if anybody's been like, Rick, why do you have no trade routes? I just realized it, okay? Uh, <laughs> I didn't even think of it because I haven't been hurting for money. So um, I was going to say embargoing city-states because I usually trade with them. It really isn't going to do me any damage. Uh, I'm going to put my one single vote in a standing army, which uh, is going to really cripple Augustus Caesar if it does pass. So I really hope it does pass, but it doesn't. It fails. Okay, both of the proposals failed. So now I got to make a new proposal. And what's it going to be? Um, I can do World's Fair, and I'm kind of wanting to do World's Fair. Yeah, let's do it. That's fine. We got 20 turns until we need to vote anyway. Your proposal to the Second Council of Rome suits our interests. Yeah, everybody always likes the World's Fair. If you want to make people happy, just pick World's Fair. And then put all of your production into the World's Fair, for God's sake. All right, I'm going to build an observatory in Busan. And I'm going to finish chemistry. And then I'm going to call it an end of this episode because I think that we played long enough. And it's about time that we uh, hold it a day. So there we go. Next turn. Everybody's congratulating me on picking such a fantastic proposal. And, wow, Ahmed actually wants to be friends with me, even though he's neutral. I'm going to say yes, because I want people to what? Have research agreements with. That's right. Wherever. Chemistry has been researched. We got a great scientist. And that is it. It is now the year 1610. And that is where we are going to call it. And then to this episode of Civilization V. Sejong edition. Uh, before we go, though, let's go ahead and take a look at our demographics. I'm still number one in literacy. Look at that average, 42%, but we're at 51. So we're smoking them when it comes to literacy. Population's number four, which isn't the best. Uh, it's actually right in the middle there. You can see that uh, Augustus Caesar is actually the best, which isn't too surprising because he's just steamrolling all of the cities and taking them over. Land, we're at number four, which is a little bit surprising because I only have three cities. Uh, and... Everything else we're not doing the best at. What I do want to get up is my uh, manufactured goods before the World's Fair. We want to be able to get that up. That's our production. And once we vote on the World's Fair, which I guarantee you will pass, we want to build the World's Fair. So we need to have our production in order, in order to do that. That's going to be next episode, though, guys. Uh, anyhow, as far as this episode goes, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, like I always say, Go ahead and give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. And until next time, I've been Rick with Stumped, and I will see you tomorrow.